I would like to get to know if I could be Hey 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 guys, back again with another video This time using Beautiful Burmese Curly from Trendy Tresses Again, like this has become so popular Like I have had this for about two months So this is my second installation with this hair This time I'm doing a leave out because last time I was like Yeah, this would blend perfectly with my natural hair so the front that is braided into is my leave out and then the rest is just going to be your normal like braid down now we are doing the sewing she's basically just following the head round till she gets to the middle and then as she gets them to the middle she cuts the pieces into smaller pieces so that it can fit my head we managed to use all three actually no, i didn't have a full three bundles i have like almost three bundles in my head because my head is quite small just for reference i think there's like two and a half in there but yeah like just simple to the point it's a flip over but not a curly one because i'm going to end up blow drying it and straining and stuff like that but i love this hair i can't believe it's two months old and just for reference last time i dyed it i blow dried it i, str I straightened it and the quality is still amazing <laughs> Okay, so now she's doing the closing of the sewing. So as you can see, there's smaller pieces towards the front. Just so that the hair doesn't look bulky, you want it to be look quite seamless, quite flat. So yeah, that's the look we are going for. And this is how big and voluminous the hair is. That's me just showing my leave out and you can't actually see any tracks. But I love the hair when it's curly as well. So yeah, now we're just going to blow dry it guys look how natural it is when it's blow dried and it blow dries so well and um, we're using a dyson blow dryer it blow dries super duper easily even though i've i've basically butchered this hair with everything i've done to it but yeah the quality is really really good so now is straightening time um, she's really hot straighteners for this. I think these straighteners got to like 400 um, degrees, but you can obviously use a normal straightener. In hindsight, we didn't need to make the straighteners this hot because it would have actually blended better with my natural hair, like if it was on 200, because I had a texture release before and when my hair was in a texture release, when you str when you straighten my hair once it's literally bone straight but because my natural hair has basically grown back out it's got that textured look again when it's straightened so i completely forgot about that or didn't consider that so i am going to probably wet it <laughs> and then blow dry it even even in this blow dried state because i think that blends better with my natural hair um but yeah you don't need to straighten it pin straight unless you want that look but look how gorgeous it is regardless it's just so, you know, just so flowy, so soft, so bouncy. I really, really love it. And I just love that it still does have texture to it as well. So now is my leave out. We're gonna take it out and we are going to begin to straighten it. So even though I was saying, oh, it didn't blend well, you, you guys will see it in a minute. You'll think, what on earth is she talking about? Because I won't lie to you, the, the, le the blend was, kind of effortless it is i won't lie but it's just like over time as the day goes on my natural hair is obviously going to become a bit frizzy so i'm just thinking of stuff like that also i didn't realize my natural hair was not jet black so i can kind of see the difference in color between the extensions and mine not a big deal but i'm a bit funny with stuff like that i notice it otherwise although sorry people probably won't notice it but i notice it K. 
KOD. What did I say guys? Look at that blend. It blends so so well. In my opinion it does. Can you guys see the colour difference I'm talking about? You guys probably can't but I can and that's the point I was trying to make. So anyway, um, I always need some kind of curl in my hair. I just cannot do the pin straight or just straight thing. Like I need some sort of body or volume. So yes, we did put some pin curls in the hair. Also laid my edges. And yeah, keep watching guys to see the finished look. This style... I can't lie, because we were filming and stuff, it took quite a while, but all in all, this shouldn't take more than two to three hours to do. It's quite quick, simple and easy. The hair is easy to work with. It's very cooperative, as you can see. But I love it. Let's see. I'm going to try and wear this hair for like... Well, it lasts years, but I'm going to see if I can wear it consistently for a year before I get bored, because I usually get bored, and usually I would have bought new hair, but I'm just so in love with this hair, so I just keep using it. But yeah see you guys on my next video let me know what you guys want to see next do you guys want to see more crochet styles more braiding styles what do you want to see next i would like to get to know if i could be the kind of girl that you could be down for because when i look at you i feel something tell me that you're the kind of guy that I should make a move on. K.O.D.